All right, uh, last year I did a little miniature Christmas scene for you, and we're going to do another one this year. And uh, it's going to be very similar in a way. But I'm going to show you, for those of you that you don't want something with a lot of space, because I, I found out that people really like miniatures a lot. We're going to do a little Christmas scene with two figures and a Christmas tree on this very small... <clears throat> this is a very small space here. Let me measure it right here. <clears throat> this is only three and a quarter inches across. Okay. And uh, you get these Hobby Lobby. It's about an inch high, that's all. So it's very small. But we're going to do a little Christmas scene. <clears throat> Therefore, our characters are going to have to be small. And these are the little two in, uh, I think these are two and a half inch characters, or two inch. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Excuse me. These are actually about two and a half inches. And we're going to put a couple of them at a bus stop. And then the tree's going to be in the background. <clears throat> the little Christmas tree is going to be in the background. Of course, this figure is going to be down cut down quite a bit so let me get my glove out this is a lot of you ask what is this glove I'm wearing <clears throat> this is not a carving glove um, <clears throat> as I get older my hands don't work as well as I used to this is actually just a brace to keep my wrist uh, keep my wrist at a uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry keep my wrist at a uh, straight while I carve okay here's a little two and a half inch figure that I've got right here and we're going to carve him into the uh seen here now <clears throat> I'm just gonna kind of well he's got a coat on since it's gonna be winter time <clears throat> excuse my uh, I'm gonna start cutting down now if you you haven't ever done two inch figures do not do them please if you haven't done them uh, I've done miniature work a long time I don't start people off with two inch figures because they're, they're, you know, you get the knife very close to you. And I'm just kind of getting these things set up. <clears throat> and this is the coat here. It's going to come down about that far. <clears throat> And this is the coat here. Come down about that far. And we just sort of work our way around this. <clears throat> I wish you all a very good Christmas. Just getting in between the legs here. I think with this guy, I'm going to go ahead and put a. Um, I'm going to put a satchel, not a satchel, but a suitcase. <clears throat> not a suitcase. A um, oh uh, briefcase, briefcase. That's what that was my name. I'm trying to think of what I'm briefcase in his hand. Like I said, if you've never done small miniatures before, I'm showing you how to do them. But I do not recommend this as a first project for you because this is very close to the fingers, very close to the hands. Learn to first of all do the larger figures and then gradually you can work into the um, smaller figures because smaller figures are much more <coughs> tedious. They can break easy. 
and you have to take your time doing it. Okay? All right, so we're working on his shoes a little bit. Now let's go ahead and separate the uh, the head from the figure. Now, <clears throat> on the Christmas tree, I'm not going to carve it. I went ahead and these days they've got so many. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought some little small Christmas trees, or what similar to Christmas trees that's going to be behind. And we'll make a little winter scene out of it. Where you can use carvings and little scenes that you want to do. But I try to find um, small miniature things that you can do real quick, fast. Doesn't require a lot of work but like I said this is more for the carver that has done some miniature work and can do it if you start off um, this is just not the kind of work for you right now I'm not saying that you can't do it but this is not the type of work to start off with at all <clears throat> okay I'm getting the head now shaped up. I'm going to change knives here for a minute. I've got another little small knife. Have to excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to switch over to another knife that feels a little bit more comfortable in my hand. A knife that I actually made. There it is right here. I'm going to switch over to this knife. Not that the other one was a bad knife. I just... This one... I actually made the handle to this knife and, and used a blade. But I like the blade. It's a little bit longer so I can... I can it just feel is much better when you <clears throat> when you have a carving knife of course as I've tried to explain to you uh, you can have a good blade but you want the handle to fit good in your hand so that you will feel uh, comfortable with it it's like anything else that you work with if you work with something for a long period of time you want to be as comfortable in your hand as possible because um, it won't hurt, make your hand hurt, <coughs> hurt so much. Um, I want you all to know, and most of you know already, that um, this area was the area that we just recently had this explosion in, the Texas explosion. TPC plant. Our plant huntsman used to own that plant. I've been in that plant many, many times. And uh, before I retired, and when huntsman owned it, I used to be in utilities, so I would go over there and deal with the, the utilities over there. It's a very unfortunate thing and a very dangerous thing that happened. But we know. <clears throat> living around these plants that this can happen and uh, I am just shocked that no one was killed I'm telling you in that sense I, I really am because this was a major major explosion where it actually sent a tower a part of the tower flying up in the air and that's a major explosion I'm telling you something so we're still dealing in this area with that. All right, now we get these shoes kind of going down, and now <clears throat> I'm 
you've seen me carve these little figures before but okay now what I want to do is I want to want to go ahead and just make my arm I'm gonna come here with my arm and just make it down like this have his hand holding a um, a uh, suit uh, I don't know why I just have suitcase on my mind a briefcase he's gonna be waiting at a bus stop in the cold I just cut that hand down there like that and let's go ahead and now since it is a winter scene he'll have a coat on a closed coat so I'm just removing a little bit more give that give that hand more of a look just coming up underneath here to kind of give him enough room for that hand right there so that I can make the briefcase separate okay now the other one will just go in his uh, Pocket. And we're just going to do this. Not a whole lot different from the other hand, but different enough. Y'all have to excuse my, my I, I, I clear my throat a lot. I, as you all know, I have lung problems. I have battled tuberculosis um, for many, many years now, close to 20 years now. And I've had to come back three times. Well, not come back three times, but I've had it three times. And I have a problem with my breathing so um, now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this like this and uh, then just sort of angle that in there like that in other words where he's coming into the <laughs> I do wish a very Merry Christmas to everyone this year I'm sorry that I haven't been able to carve as much and present as many videos but uh, I'm still not in my home uh, this battle between the insurance companies and myself has become very uh, uh, very bad. Uh, they just don't want to pay. And uh, the, they've got it tied up in the courts now, so there's not a whole lot you can do right at the moment. 
unfortunately that's our laws folks and insurance companies are very powerful companies and they uh, they can tie things up in court a long time my son <clears throat> seven years ago my son uh, was sued by a man up in Kentucky who claimed that he my son backed up and hit him and he got hurt and all that stuff and this man had been a professional sewer he complete you know he sued I don't know how many people for these type of things and unfortunately he claimed that my son had hurt him and all that which they do and um, my son finally got the now we go back here I'm sorry when we make for the back of it and my son um, he this man just kept fighting in court to get money from his insurance company and uh, it took seven years and they finally sent him a letter the other day and said he has abstained from all charges and there was really nothing to it but but this is how long it went on I hope that's not the case it's been almost two years since Harvey and almost a year in court with my case but unfortunately insurance companies are just there I mean I'm sorry but they're they are not fair people and they don't really care whether they're known as not being fair money is the only thing that matters to them so it's I just hope this these lawsuits that are against TPC I hope TPC will do the right thing and and that uh, it will not give a lot of people a lot of problems because those things can go for years they really can it has in my case okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead whoops we're gonna give him a closed um, we're just gonna come come across here like this and then come up here like this where he has a closed um, unfortunately insurance companies we pay out a lot of insurance but unfortunately um, you have to fight with a lot of them too and they just don't they don't really care really when it boils down to it a lot of times so I got that in between there about things <clears throat> okay now what I did is I just came here and and just opened his coat a little bit and uh, we're gonna bring this coat down it's just sticking out way way too much we'll bring it down like this in other words and then we kind of bring this down a little bit in here I just want to put this here But these are the things that, unfortunately, you fight for. And it should pretty much be in a cut and dry case. Your house is destroyed by flood. And they should, uh, I don't know, the, the way I look at it is this, I guess. Is, and this is just my opinion, but if my house, you, you evaluate how much my house is worth. And my house was worth $140,000. And it's an older house that I bought many, many years ago. But And uh, the whole house was damaged except so you, you figure out what the house is worth now with, with uh, being damaged. And if it's only worth like $40,000 or $30,000 or whatever, then you just take that off and you've got a hundred thousand dollars in damage that you've done to the house but that's not the way the insurance companies look at it because they don't want to pay out but unfortunately 
We need insurance, you have to have insurance, but you don't always get treated right when you have it. Especially by, and I just had flood insurance. Luckily, I, I just had it with Allstate. And uh, I don't speak highly of Allstate right now. But they have not treated me very well. And I really didn't understand it because the FEMA was the people that's supposed to pay out. I don't understand why Allstate is fighting me so bad over it. They must be getting some kind of a kickback, but they are fighting me hard on it. So, anyway, praise God, I have a life. <laughs> okay, now, I don't mean to get in on that. Let's go ahead and draw a little hand here. And as you can see, it goes all the way back here. So we're just going to draw our little hand in here. Oops. And I'm gonna, just going to cut it like this. And then come in, cut down. We're going to draw, we're going to uh, take a, a uh, drill and drill a hole in the hand. So we can put a little briefcase in there but there's our hand and I'm not going to do any more on it until I drill through the hand and all that okay but he's wearing his coat and I want to come a little bit deeper in here and do this and these are these I told these are small figures these are two and a half inch figures that we're doing here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pants leg and, and, and the shoes separate that together just like that and do it to the other side but I'm I'm not gonna let them spoil my Christmas I'm just gonna praise God for his goodness and his mercy and uh, I've been so through so much in my life already well, with the death of my first wife at a very young age and stuff and this is not I'm not destroyed by this and folks let's just admit it life is not fair all the time it's just not we wish it would be but it's just not fair sometimes you don't get fair things Although I, I believe I'm going to win, and my lawyer tells me it is looking.